So today I'm going to show you how to use the Permobil joystick module. This joystick is found on most Permobil power chairs and some other chairs, but usually it's a Permobil. This model in particular is set up the way Permobils usually come from the factory. Your chair might be different, but most of them tend to be set up this way. So we're going to start by turning the power on using this lever on the left. We're going to flip it up, and you can see the power turn on, our screen lights up, and we're ready to drive the chair. To turn the chair off, you do the opposite. You push the lever down for off. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to want the joystick on. So let's talk about the display first. So up top, we have our battery power indicator. We've got red, yellow, and what should be green lights. And these drain as your battery drains. So as you can see, we're at about 75% battery life currently. On the screen down here, it says indoor. This shows us what profile we are on. There's indoor, normal, and then there's your function menu. So we're currently on indoor. Then we have a little odom or speedometer down here showing how fast the chair goes. I drive the chair forward. It lights up to wherever the speed is. So we have this lever here on the left. We've got a rabbit and a turtle, and this is our speeds. So currently we're on full speed on the indoor setting, which is about three or four miles an hour depending on the chair that you're using. So we can change the speed. If I go down to the turtle, you can see this little yellow bar going all the way down. Now we're at our slowest speed we can get to. This chair will drive at about half a mile an hour. I'm going to go back up if you want the chair to go faster. Now we'll drive, this unit will go three and a half miles per hour at this speed. We have a horn in the middle. Now let's talk about these buttons on the outside. So these are our lights. Not every power bill comes with a lighting package. This one does. So we have our turn signals. We have a right turn signal and a left turn signal. We have hazard lights, and it's just our regular headlights and rear lights. So now to switch profiles, one indoor now, what if we wanted to go to outdoor? So the same way we turn the chair on, we're going to flip this lever up, and now it says normal number two. Now this chair will operate at about six and a half to seven miles an hour. Some units go faster, some slower. But this one in particular goes six and a half at full speed. Just like the indoor setting, we can lower the speed down to half a mile an hour again. All the lights work the exact same on this profile. So now what if we want to use our functions in the chair? We could use a switch box down here, but not every chair comes equipped with that. So we can operate the functions through the joystick. So I flip up again to change profiles. Now we're in our function menu. You can see a picture of the chair with a portion highlighted in yellow. Whatever is highlighted in yellow is the function we're going to use. So currently, this chair has seat lift, tilt, recline, and legs. It is fully loaded. So right now, the seat is highlighted. This would be seat lift. In order to engage the seat lift, I would push the joystick either forward or backwards. Now to change functions, using our joystick, we can push it left or right to cycle through the functions. So I'm going to go right, and now the back is highlighted in yellow. This would be our recline. If I wanted to use the recline, again, I would push either forward or back. And I can keep cycling through. We have our tilt. This tilts the entire chair back. And our legs. We have electronic legs on this unit in particular, the legs will go up and down. So we can cycle through. Now, I'm going to go up back to the normal driving settings, and there is a setting menu in this chair. If we hold down this top left button here, we get to our setting menu. If you want to program, you know, the time of day or the date, or even set a trip for your odometer, you can do that through this menu. So in order to navigate the menu, you would use the joystick. You would go down to go down, or up to go up. 
If you want to select something, like let's say time, we're going to set the time on this chair, I would go to the right. And now you see I can set time, display time, or exit. So if I want to set time, I'll go to the right again. And I can set year, month, day, day of the week, whatever, what have you. So we're in 2022, I could change the year by going up or down. If I want to check the month, I can go to the right and cycle through the month. So you can keep going through all these, editing them as you wish until you hit exit. And I can go up or down to exit that menu. Now if I want to leave the time menu, I'll go all the way down to exit and go right. We can also edit our distance. So you can view the total distance. This chair has 20 miles of use on it. You can also set a trip. The trip is 19.3 miles. You can change the display distance to be total or trip. I've got it set to total currently. You can also clear your trip distance here and exit. The last setting I wanted to touch on is the backlight. You can change the brightness of your joystick. We're at 100%. If I start going left, you see the joystick get dimmer. To the right, it'll be brighter. We don't want auto backlight. And then to exit to the right. These joysticks also can connect with Bluetooth. Sometimes it can be used as a remote control on the TV. I am not covering that in this video. I just wanted to show basic um, functions of this chair and how to use this joystick. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.